Holy crap. Wow, that's that's all I can say for right now. I'm trying to just even gather my thoughts. Um, as you can hear, I just uh, beat the game. Yeah, this game was no pun intended, amazing. Oh dang, they showing Craven. I forgot that dude even existed. It's like so much happened between spoilers, by the way. Um, from the time. Venom came into the game and after he killed Kraven, so much happened, so many memorable moments happened between the, the time he died toward the end of the game. That's why I forgot Kraven even existed. Because after Kraven died, it turned into the Spider-Man Weapon Shadows real freaking quick. Like, wow, just, just so much happened. Um... New York getting taken over by, by Symbiote Crisis. Then fighting all the Symbiotes. It, it really did feel like Spider-Man Spider -Man, Web of Shadows all over again. Um, I mean, aside from ending the game, well, now they're showing Harry as Agent Venom. They, cha they changed so much with these characters. Spider-Man being anti-Venom, even though... Eddie Brock was anti-Venom. He was also the first Venom. Well, okay, comic book-wise, he wasn't the first... Uh, Venom, but he Eddie Brock is the, is the most famous Venom, and we oh my god, even Tombstone, I, so many forgotten characters. Like the ending of this game was so memorable. This I mean, this whole game was so memorable, but like so many characters that you that, that I haven't seen in so long because I've I've this the ending of this game was just so it was crazy. So much happened. Tombstone was in this game. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, Mary Jane, I feel the same way with your excited look. Oh, Harry. Oh, I, like, my thoughts are all over the place right now looking at these credits. Now, now they show Norma Osmond in the green. Like, I really feel like if there is a DLC or a Spider-Man 3, it's, well, for one, it's going to be hard to, to, to one-up this game because, shoot, this is Spider-Man 2 one-up both Miles Morales and the original Spider-Man. It's going to be real difficult to one-up Spider-Man 2. But going back to Norman Osborn, I feel like if there is going to be a Spider-Man 3 or a DLC to this game and they and Norman Osborn is going to be in it, he has to appear as Green Goblin because they've been teasing this dude so much because at the end of the game when Harry was in his bed, bro was wearing green. And even, even when they were, they were at the at Harry and Peter's job. I forgot what the hell it was called. But that little research facility, even they were showing Roman Osmond wearing green. So if Bro does not appear in the third game as Green Goblin, what's the point? Oh, okay, now they're showing uh, Miles and Martin Lee. I'm, I'm actually surprised that, that Bro even lived through this game because I was pretty sure Miles was going to accidentally kill his ass. If not kill him, then incapacitate him to where he he was going to be the one in the hospital bed, not Harry. I mean, shoot, I thought Harry was going to end up dying at the end of the game. I mean, he's in critical condition, but ain't no telling how he's going to be. Now they're showing Spider-Man ripping the symbiote off. I feel like that that's a comic book reference. I'm sorry, my, my mind is all over the place because I'm watching the credits while gathering my thoughts as well. Ah, uh, holy crap. This game was just fantastic. Oh, man, they show a scorpion. I'm surprised that they killed him off. No, because, yeah, during the game when they were showing all these uh, villains dying, I, I was really saying to myself, yeah, Cra Craven got to die. I mean, I, I got my wish because... The way bro died, oof, that was brutal. He went out like a G, though. Bro really did go out fighting. I was really surprised that Craig can't... I can't even talk right now. I was really surprised that Craven was even able to keep up with Venom. The funny thing is, while playing this game, I, I freaking died as Venom fighting Craven. That was so crazy. Wow. Peter and Miles fist bumping. That was, yeah, Spider-Man 2. Very well done. 
Is there anything after this? Uh oh. Post credit scene. You better show the freaking goblin suit. Otto? What do you want? The Spider Man. You know who they are, don't you? Why? They ruined my son. So what is Otto the one of the developers now? <laughs> that was such a tease. At the final chapter. Yeah, Spider-Man 3. Okay. <laughs> you better start with DLCs at least. Like you did with the first Spider-Man game. It's kind of crazy that even Miles Morales didn't even have any DLC attached to it. It was a whole ass game. It didn't even have, have any DLC um, content with it. I mean, I get that it was a spinoff, but still. I feel like Miles Morales still deserved it. Um, some DLC with it as well. Like what? I don't know shit. More costumes? No, like, a, like a more? I guess more of a tease to to the third uh, to the second game. I mean, I don't know shit. But yeah, looking through that um that post credit scene, thinking about the game. Dude, I'm, I'm trying. I'm thinking going back to the beginning now. Sandman, that 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 first mission, that was more of a that was that was a crazy first mission. Fighting Sandman in the beginning, like that was just the first mission. Then, like you go, you you exploring New York City and understanding why Sandman. How and why Sandman went into madness and, and why he he's doing what he's doing. Like, if you're one of those people who just went through the story just, just to be like, Oh, hey, I, I can play the game in three hours. Then, yeah, you, you, you just missed the story. They're like, there's more to the story than just the main story. And that's, that's why I'm, like, I like to, I like to, like, not just play the game, but play the game. I, I'm a, I'm over story driven type of person. That's why I don't, Play like Call of Duty and shit. And like get on multiplayer and like go against motherfuckers who've been who only played the game for like two hours and they're already on level five hundred and, and the maximum level is supposed to be only level fifty. Like that's why I don't play multiplayer. I like games that tell a story. And like like Spider Man like like all these insomniac games where they're so story driven, that's the type of stuff I like. And this game definitely delivered. So, this I don't know if there's gonna be gonna be anything else. If there is, then I'll I'll say some more on this game. But for right now, I I'm flabbergasted. Um, I really don't know if it's even possible to outdo this game. If there is gonna be a third Spider-Man game, I'm mean, the way they teasing it. Like, yeah, they, there is gonna be a third Spider-Man game, but. Like who who knows? But on a scale from one to ten, this if anybody gives this thing less than a seven, you're high. But personally, this this was this was a, a nine point five. Yeah, nine point five out of ten. Maybe it's recency bias, but yeah, I'm giving this this game high praise.
like I've already talked about the the good in this game. The 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 bad I would have to say. Well, for one, the bad is that it ended so soon. <laughs> I beat this game in three days. But I'm, like seriously though, the bad I would say for this game is that it it did kind of bug out quite a few times. And I will show that in my in my clips I saved for this game because I saved hella clips for this game. But this game did kind of go buggy a few times. Like one of the like one with uh Miles is that it just shows his head and part of his neck in one of the cutscenes. It didn't show the rest of his body. And another is when uh Venom first uh, well, when 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 Harry first became Venom, and it was a cutscene. Cutscene was was about to play, but for like a split second, I was able to play as Peter. And like as soon as I moved the body, that's when the cutscene played. And then same thing with Miles. It just showed his head, but it also showed the rest of Peter's body or Spider Man's body. And yeah, that that was that was just that was just uh, some examples. I didn't save that clip. Or picture, but um, yeah, that that'd just be my biggest uh, gripe about the game. Other than that, this game, like again, no pun intended, it was amazing, and I really wish. I mean, shoot, if this game was like a week long, like a week long, I'd I still, I'd still be upset that I beat the game. But other than that. If there's anything after these credits, because they're still going, it's still it's showing all, all of them. Like everybody, the senior house audio engineer, Jeremy Underwood, thank you for making this game or being part of the team that made this game. Everybody else I skipped that, that I didn't mention before, Sean West, talent agent, thank you for making this amazing game. Um, Y'all probably won't ever hear or know that I'm even making this video, but it, I am probably one of thousands if not millions of people that played this game who are definitely asking for not only DLC but a third game and I will say I'm one of the people that pre-ordered this game because Spider-Man is one of my favorite Marvel characters um yeah keep them going I will say I okay again my mind is going all over the place because I'm gathering my thoughts after I beat the game if there is a way for them to top this game not only would they, I would say that Green Goblin being in this in the third game, but they tease Doctor Strange. They tease Doctor Strange in this in Spider Man Two. They also tease Matt Murdock in the first game too, and Black Panther in both games. So my thought is, they may have to bring the Avengers into this into the third game. That'd probably be the only way I can see them topping this game. Yeah, the Avengers are gonna are there there's gonna have to be an Avengers level threat for them to top this game, honestly. Cause everything from gameplay to story was it surpassed both Spider Man and Miles Morales. Or Spider Man Miles Morales, I guess is the proper title. But, okay, hopefully this is the last time I'll say this, but um, if there is anything at the end of this, uh, at the end of these credits, because they're still going, I will say my piece on it. But other than that, this game is a 9.95 out of 10, and I thoroughly enjoyed this game. I could not get enough of it. Other than that, that's all I got. Um, if y'all don't hear anything after this, then that means it's the end of it, and thank you for watching this video. Y'all take care, do the right thing, have a wonderful rest of your day. Well, I finally skipped the credits, but now I see something else. So I had to pause the game for a minute and see what it is. I see Miles getting uh, dinner ready, it looks like, or getting something ready. But I'm going to see what's up, and um, yeah, let's do it. Rio kind of thick. Aw. Let it be a double date. Hey, yo, let hey, Rio date Luke Cage. I hope you're hungry. Who's on the 
Miss Frank. Why don't you go show her your essay? You worked so hard on it. Oh, we're gonna be showing more than the essay. Blue Cage? Probably seen him volunteering in the city, helping out his city council mom, and trying to live up to his hero dad. Oh, they finally did it. I swear to God, if it's Luke Cage. with the third game. Wow. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I would not have been a little... I would not have been disappointed had they had shown Luke Cage because he is from Harlem too and bro likes his coffee. Might, might like his coffee a little spicy too, but that's beyond the point. But wow. Cindy Moon is gonna be in the third game. It's kind of weird they didn't show her face, but... Whatever. At this point in Somniac, if y'all don't make a third game, do the same thing y'all did with um, um, all the Spider-Verse films. Release a game at the same year. Um, yeah, y'all might as well do it. <laughs> Whatever timeline y'all got, yeah, just uh, time it the same way y'all y'all been doing the whole, y'all been doing um, doing it. Because first Spider-Man game came out with um, Into the Spider-Verse. This one came out with um, Across the Spider-Verse. So probably in uh, about 2028 when um, Beyond the Spider-Verse comes out. Hopefully it's not that long, but Beyond, that's, that's, uh, that's a joke. But yeah, whenever Beyond the Spider-Verse comes out, I hope the game is ready for release by then. But again, like I said previously, this was an amazing game, no pun intended. 9.95 uh, out of 10. And thank you, Insomniac, for making this game. Like I said before, ladies and gentlemen, uh... Take care of yourselves, make smart decisions, have a wonderful rest of your day.